Welcome back. The Luris is the most prestigious creative festival across Africa and the Middle East. Each year, Luris Creative Week creates an opportunity for the brand communication industry to unite around a common goal of supporting the industry. This year, the awards will be happening in Cape Town on the 22nd of October. For more on what can be expected this year, we joined by the Luri CEO, Pritesh Sebraj. Pritesh, a very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me on. It's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Now, uh, tell us about uh, you know, the, the Luris this year, what we can expect. Yeah, I think, I think as anyone can expect, it has been influenced by the current pandemic and the current environment. But what we are doing is we're actually using that as an opportunity to innovate. So what would have been a 2,000 person event altogether has now turned into multiple days of a cinematic experience. We've been to Cape Town, we've recorded throughout, recorded our results, and ultimately that happens over two days and we culminate with a huge Lurie's Awards evening within COVID numbers, of course. Yeah, and after a two-year hiatus, how has it been preparing for a physical gathering of the awards and creative week? Yeah, it's, it, has been, it has been interesting because our, what's been top of mind is keeping our community safe, sure. keeping the communities around the areas that we're in absolutely safe. But I think one of the key things we can do now is bring people together in limited numbers and ensure that we can celebrate the best in creativity and we can show that, you know, we, we serve a region of nearly 2 billion people across Africa and the Middle East. Mm. And we have a really mm. important job to ensure that we deliver on the best messaging out there. So um, it's an important job and it's good to be able to bring everyone back together so we can deliver on our mandate. And after years of rewarding the advertising, the television and the marketing industry, what still makes uh, these awards sought after? Yeah, I think it's it's really a benchmark in terms of the innovation happening. That's it. Lots of people don't know this, that primarily we're an innovation award. Uh -huh. We look at innovation in brand communication. And so every year you have to step up your game. You have to get better if you want to walk away with one of those coveted Lurie trophies. And when you get it, it's not just a warm pat on the back and, and yeah, you've done well. What it really is, is an indicator that the work that you're putting out and the work that's been created is really moving society forward, is taking care of society and is breaking down some of the harmful stereotypes that may exist in some areas of society. So mm. it's an important mm. job and lots of people want to be recognized for their work in really adding value to society overall. Yeah, and it's quite interesting that you touched on these harmful stereotypes. How do we dispel those, stere those stereotypes? Yeah, I think our industry is doing a great job of that, which is that, you know, if you look at brand communication, and when we say brand communication, it's, it's marketing, it's the agency environment, it's production. Our entire industry is continuously putting work. And the things that we put up actually helps people think about society, thinks about their role in society. And what we do as Luris is we're rewarding the work that really sits right at the top, that really breaks the stereotypes and ensures that we have a free and fair society across Africa and the Middle East. Mm. Now, share a bit more on your partnership with Facebook Africa to sort of support diversity and inclusion in initiatives. Yeah, so, so it's really exciting because Facebook, uh, actually with Facebook had an idea and they said, you get all this amazing data, would you be interested in researching it and trying to, to look at the way various genders are represented across, uh, specifically across the African continent? And we thought it was great and they supported us and left us at that. So we went out and we did all of the work. Uh, and it's interesting that some of the stereotypes you expect still exist in society. Sure. For example, uh, men... men uh, get a lot more speaking time than their screen time, which means that women actually use as props in some of the ads that are out there. So there's a lot of work that still has to be done. What we do find is the best agencies and the best brands, they tick the boxes. They're perfect when it comes to it. What we've got to watch out is for those emerging advertisers. Those people mm -hmm. are coming out right to the bottom because that's what skews everything right now. And when you're emerging, you tend to still favor a male voice. And, and that's useful for us to know because we can do something about it. Yeah, indeed. Now, Pratesh, talk, uh, well, talk to us about the Creative Week. What do you have planned this year? So um, it's happening over three, three days primarily, and, and we're encompassing learning. So we have master classes with three amazing speakers. Uh, we've got Siban Brynam Tongana, um, who, who are amazing and very, very well known. Uh, we have John Sanai, who's a, he's a futurist, who's out there as well. And then once from the master classes, we go into the cinematic experiences, but over and above the cinematic experiences, we find out the results itself. We've got a branch with the mayor of Cape Town. Uh, we have 
have a Louis Adlard comedy night, just a way for the industry to relax. We've got school visits where we're going to schools across Cape Town, helping them realize, helping young kids who would never be exposed to an industry in brand communication, see how they can actually get in. Um, and then ultimately, as I said, on the Friday evening, we culminate with the Lurie Awards evening where we hand out those prized awards to all of the winners. And we have attendees from across Africa and Middle East, from Europe, um, attending to Nigeria, Kenya, United Arab Emirates, uh, Sweden, the United Kingdom. These are just some of the countries that will be represented at the evening. Yeah, you mentioned the cinematic experience. Which comedians do you have on the lineup? Uh, yes, yeah, so, so what we have is in the cinematic experience, we have media personality Tando Tibete, uh, and we have Carl Wasty, uh, another media personality who's also involved in this. And we also have Luzola Gola, uh, who's another one of the comedians that's involved in the process. So we have a number of different celebrities who, who lend their voice to different parts of the Louis to be able to share uh, in a lighthearted way, why, why the work that's being done is so important by the industry. How do you think the artists winning the award contributes to the agency's reputation? Uh, I think it's absolutely important. You know, one of the things is when you win that, it's not the end, like I said. It's not just a warm, right. fuzzy feeling, pat in the back and you walk away. What those agencies are doing is they go then to brands and they say, look, brands, we've won this award, which is an indicator of the great work we are doing and the transformative work we're doing. And brands look at it as well and go, this is a yardstick by which we can absolutely measure the agencies, not just in terms of their work in, if you speak to somebody in South Africa, not just the South African work, but somebody whose work resonates across Africa and the Middle East in the hardest, most difficult platform to actually get that accolade. So it helps the agencies get work, it helps the brands ensure that they're partnering with the agencies who can really make a difference for their brands. All right, just give us more details as to how people could be a part of this, of this event. Yes, so the Louris is open to everyone. It's not an insular industry event. So everyone who wants to attend is absolutely welcome to do so. The easiest way to do so is go to louris.com and you'll be able to see which events are still available. I have to admit, a number of them are already sold out. So the Louis Comedy Evening is sold out. The actual awards evening is sold out. Most of the theatre experience in Cavendish is sold out. But there's still a few tickets available. So as a general public, if you want to see the best in communication, you want to be inspired. Or if you're sitting at home and you, you have a child and you say you want them to look at this in the industry and maybe look at it as a career option, have a look at luris.com and you'll be able to have a look there and see what opportunities lie. Sounds exciting. It really does. Pritesh, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Amazing. Thank you for having me and really appreciate being able to, to share what we're doing. Indeed, indeed. Great, uh, great stuff. Thank you. Well, the Luris Creative Week brings together the best innovative minds from our industry for a festival of networking, inspiring minds and recognizing great work. We just spoke to the CEO, Pritesh Sebraj.